Hey guys, what's up? I hope everybody's having a great Mandela Effect evening. I just wanted to bring to your attention tonight, 20th Century Fox looks like it may have undergone two more changes while we were asleep, it seems. Uh, I have Teresa join with me, and I have our friend Ty as well. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Glad to be here. Hey, Brian. Hey, glad you guys could make it. Yeah, so we're talking about from yeah. 1953 through 1987. 20th Century Fox has, are you telling me it always had a wonky O? And the left side of the T is cut off on all of these. And not to mention, what else is the other one that's that's here? What's the other big one? The, the looks yeah. like the H. We have a wonky O for in the 20, right? And it looks like, because um, I had asked, uh, I had asked you guys about yeah, the, H. the H. The H looks taller, for sure. In the 20th century box, it's 2-0-T-H. And that T, that, that H in the T-H looks much taller than it used to right. be. And, and, and the whole figure looks oh. looks wrong to me. It looks, it looks stretched. It really does. I know, and if you look, if you look closely, like actually from afar a little bit, it sort of looks like they're flipping us off here. With the uh, with the T, the H, and the and the H in the middle of it, it looks like they're honestly. I'm just trying to make a joke here, but well, this is the same. This is the same thing to me. This 20th century box because it's a logo. It's the same thing to me as a car's grill. You know how they have faces, the two headlights with the grill faces. This 20th century box is a total different face to me. It does not look the same at all. The two, the zero, the TH, it looks, it almost looks off center, wouldn't you say, Brian? Yeah, From definitely. Used to. It definitely looks off center. Um, I, I do. The stuff. Yeah, it, it's funny how you look for one thing. Like Teresa, you were trying, to, you were trying to make sure that the left side of the T was still gone, right? You wanted to make sure it didn't come back. Or? Yeah, I wanted to see if I had found residue, and we ended, I was looking for residue, thinking there was a full T there, and then then there was more Mandela's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it's definitely, definitely wonky. There's no doubt about it. To coin uh, your term there, Brian, wonky. It's definitely, that's a, crazy. it's definitely a wonkiness. The more I look at it, the more it, it looks wrong. I mean, it look, it kind of looks like the Sonic the Hedgehog logo where the O is wonky there as well. That's right. what it reminds me of. That's the first thing I thought of. Yeah. Where did you find this at? 20th Century Fox logo. Uh, lo if you look Logopedia, you can see it there. Yeah, if you look at right? yeah, and I, I did a video on Sonic the Hedgehog once before, and you could see the wonky O. Oh, it wasn't like that. That's just strange. It is strange, and there's and I wish uh, there was some rhyme or reason to it. I really do because these things are just popping up seemingly out of what? nowhere with no with no rhyme or reason to it. I know. Do you know what else I'm seeing a lot of Ty? These uh these R's that keep breaking and everything like the R and Oreo, uh, right. yep. what's one that we we just you just showed with me uh you shared with me Teresa earlier with the, with a broken R. Yeah. You, you shared something with me earlier with a broken R. What was it? Um, some some oh, logo. Oh yeah, uh, maybe I saw. Um, they're what they're did all I over the place. Earlier? I'll show you guys Oreo real quick. I know I'm going off tangent here, but. Which one was it? Was something earlier? I know I'm going off tangent here, but. Something earlier, what did I see? The broken R is showing up everywhere. Oh, I knew us. Pet Boys, Pet Boys is broken up. Pet Boys. Oh, Pet Boys, and the what was? P and the P and the P. Yeah, I know, Pet but you, Boys. you were showing you were showing something that had a broken R. White rain. Yes, yes. <coughs> white rain. Yes, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, white, white rain. rain. And, yeah, and I'm still I'm still of the opinion that the the lowest common denominator between people who don't know each other in different cities, you know, first, you know, we, we've never met. And Broken this R. is what we're coming KBH across. And I'm, and, I'm, 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 and I'm of the opinion that perhaps Teardrop. Mandela effects are going on all around us. We just can't tell. We're just going to share the currencies mm -hmm. between us, which would be advertising, logos, TV shows, etc. Because they're the most common things that we have between us. That's what you see most often. But like you said, Brian, about the, the donuts, the three donuts, two donuts. Yeah, and and there's 
There's um. Wait, what? What donuts? The, the three donuts to the two donuts. Remember, was it donuts or muffins? Yeah, muffins. <laughs> we muffins. had a case of the missing muffin. Right. And I, I think more things like that are happening all the time. You just got to catch them. You just got to catch them. Well, you, I'll tell you another one that looks weird to me is that Krispy Kreme logo. How many of you guys have I ever had Krispy, Krispy Kreme donuts? The, uh, the 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 long bars across the uh, the logo. Now, it it doesn't mean it's a, none of this means it's it's a bad thing. You know, a lot of these things could be good. You know that I don't think it's a bad thing. Change is good, but when it, when it's happening through time and space, like. I think it's interesting. It definitely makes life more interesting. I'll tell you that. It definitely makes it more interesting, but obviously there's changes going on, and I'm wondering what other changes are happening besides these. That these are happening on a small scale, or could there not be changes happening on a large scale? That's what's really bothersome to me, and uh, that, that's what we should be investigating more. As we see these, as we see these changes happening, did we look? Teresa, did you take a chance to look at the to peruse the, the map? The, the world map between North America, South America, and uh, Africa, and Europe. Do you not arise the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. I said come back tomorrow. <laughs> if you are really great and powerful, you'll keep your promises. <laughs> Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? <laughs> you ungrateful creatures think yourselves lucky that What's I'm that? giving you audience for now. Hang on, I'm, I'm playing Pay No Attention. Now. To the man behind the curtain. Oh, the great Oz has spoken. Oh, okay. I want to make sure he still says that. Okay, good. He still says it. <laughs> I'm just making sure. But that, so there we have it. There we have it. It's a simple, a simple video on the 20th century Fox. Yep. We'll keep an eye out for anything else that's coming up. Yeah, I know Teresa always does. If if you guys uh, want to hit me up, that's fine. Let but me know. If Teresa wasn't out there, what would we do without Teresa? Teresa is the queen of residual. Yeah, she's she's definitely she's dedicated. You know, like like a lot of like a lot of you guys out there. You know, you guys are dedicated to, uh, and you know, it's important we don't fall back Brian, asleep. Brian, huh? I noticed stuff too fast though. I notice things too fast. Well, it's it's just it's, it's subtle change is what it is. It's not a bad thing. No, that's that's a good thing. No, it's a good thing. That's a good thing that keeps you that keeps you safe and it keeps you keeps you protected because how do we know we're not getting boiled in in uh you know like it's like that frog thing that, or uh what is it like when you when you yeah, adjust to something. You're, it's not as scary, we but if but you're noticing these changes yeah, as they're happening, shit. huh? Are you there? Yeah. Ty. Ooh, residue. I think we lost Ty. It's okay. They just showed a skeleton. Hold on. Okay. Crap. Bone yeah, in this... the back of the eye. Darn it. But yeah, let me show you that Krispy Kreme while we're waiting. Um, I don't want to make a lot of you guys hungry. Okay. Oh, and did you guys did you guys know Taco Bell is going vegan? Vegan. Um, you can you can uh, request something ve with vegetables um, only. You don't oh, have to have the meats. Oh my god. Um, hey, not changing. Um, not changing the Dana subject. Dana told me about that. Um, I'm gonna have to definitely trace this Krispy Kreme logo. Right now. Looking at a skeleton. Ty, you there? What happened to Ty? His his signal sometimes fades in and out. But yeah, let me just trace this Krispy Kreme, okay? Since from nineteen sixty four to present it looks like this. Um the red riding, the green border. Oh, sticking out. And donuts is spelled D O U G H and U T S. My ribs are sticking out yeah. too much now. I I noticed that like my breathing has changed, like, and I tried to tell people no, that. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. Right now, I'm watching um 
Rocky Horror, the new one, and this guy just opened up this, like, cabinet thing, and there's a skeleton there, and the ribs are, like, sticking out, like, they're coming protruding. I'm seriously looking at it right now. Oh, wow. It's like they're, um, they're more pointing out. Does that make sense? <coughs> yeah, it makes sense. They look weird. I don't know if you want to bring the skeleton rib cage up, but in the picture, it's like they're further out. That's the only way I could. It looks like somebody blew them up. I don't know. My, my mind needs some rest right now. This, you know, I, I, uh. It looks weird. Yeah. I'm going to look at it. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to look at it. Can you bring it up? Can you bring it up? I'm going to put here a skeleton. Okay. So, rib cage. It just looks bizarre. Hold on. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect night. God bless.